6909 43.177 What Paul is doing you we described this plot in some detail but the fact is because there's there's variability in the structure in the composition of this site there's also going to be difference in reflectance so with the difference in reflectance we want to capture all of that variability because what we want to map is this site this spruce music willow birch site that's what we want to be able to map it'll have a range of different signatures in the electromagnetic spectrum because of the difference in the structure of the ecosystem so what we're getting him to do is walk around and take waypoints in all of the kind of variability that's in here so we can have that to characterize the entire ecosystem. And, and we have two ways of inferring that. One is the satellite data, and the other is the geographic map data. And we're finding in our models that the geographic map data, where the ecosystems are in the landscape, and how they're characterized in terms of their shape, uh, what the slope is, what their elevation is, what their aspect is, as it might relate to things like the amount of heat they're getting in their angle to the sun, or the amount of snow that they can accumulate in the winter to protect them from the cold, desiccating winds. We're finding that is a stronger predictor in our models than the actual uh, satellite signal. So these two things together are giving us a very powerful model for how to reach out to the rest of the park those two kinds of information. So each one of these sites, while we're here, we have the map data for it. We have the map data for every one of those waypoints that, uh, that Paul uh, collected. So we have the map data, we know it's flat. We have the ecosystem data, we know it's uh, what kind of a landform it is. And we have the satellite data to give us the electromagnetic uh, signature for, for this area. And based on that, from points we do know, we know everything except the ecotype we're trying to model in the other parts of the park. So we build a mathematical model that characterizes these types. And when we find those conditions again, we infer that that is this ecotype across the, across the park. That's how our model works. When we generate these models, we, we actually, model simplicity is, is a value in models. Generally speaking, the more complex these models get, the more room for uncertainty and error there will be. So models are, are almost always a simplification of nature. So when we make these predictions, we're not trying to identify every single um, relevant factor that predicts these ecotypes. What we're trying to isolate are those few simple things that really drive um, the occurrence of these ecotypes. They may not explain um, with perfect precision and accuracy all the ecotypes and where they are and where they start and where they stop. But what we want to do is um, these models want to be accurate enough to make useful predictions, but not so complex enough that they're hard to understand, that they're hard to interpret, um, and because that will decrease the usefulness of these models. So we want a balance between simplicity and accuracy, generally speaking.